Today we're talking about this, the Canon M50, as well as the upgraded version two of this camera and why they are actually amazing for social content in 2022. So I've done a few videos on the Canon M50 now and what I've normally noted about this camera are things like its compact size, which make it great for travel video and photography. The large selection of affordable third-party lenses make it great for experimental creative shoots. The ability to pair it with a dummy battery and power pack along with the Canon web app, making it perfect for Zoom and team calls. But recently I found an even more relevant use for this camera and that is that it is. That is that it is very well suited for social video content. In fact, for the last couple of months, I have almost exclusively been using the Canon M50 for vertical video. That is to say 1080 by 1920 or 9x16, especially for Instagram Reels, TikTok posts and YouTube Shorts all of which are extremely important for content creators in 2022 and beyond. Because of its size, it mounts really easily vertically on a tripod and the fully articulating screen along with the dual pixel autofocus, which means you get really good tracked focus on your face if you want to vlog or present. Shooting 1080 vertically means that you don't need to worry about losing image quality for your portrait videos through scaling, and you don't need to worry about using the cropped 4K on this camera. You also have the option to shoot 60 frames per second in 1080 for smooth, slow motion video and another benefit are the very usable video files that you can play and edit with ease. So if you've already shot a bunch of footage vertically on your M50, let me quickly demonstrate how you can edit those videos in Premiere Pro for your social channels. Here I have a bunch of footage from one of my latest reels and if you look carefully you will see that these have all been filmed vertically. So if I open one of these up, this is just the intro to the video, you will see that it's all shot vertically. So I'm going to select a few of these and import them into my Premiere Pro project. And if I click on them here, you'll see they are shot vertically. I can select all of them, right click, go to new sequence from clip, and it will have created my sequence, but of course everything is sideways. So I want to adjust now my sequence parameters by going into sequence, sequence settings, and then changing the frame size from 1920 by 1080 to 1080 by 1920. Then I'm gonna hit okay. It's gonna say, is it okay to delete all previews for this sequence? And I'm going to say, okay. Now we have a 1080 by 1920 aspect ratio, but our footage is still not the right way around. We can change that by selecting on our individual footage, going to effects controls in the top left tab, and I can change the rotation. So depending on which way I filmed, I can either go to 90 degrees, like this. For this example, over here, I will change it the other way. So I'll go minus 90 degrees to get that correctly oriented. And I'll go along and basically adjust my rotation on all of these. So I'll have my 1080 by 1920 vertical aspect ratio and I can now edit this for my social reels. I find it fascinating that the way that most mobile phones have evolved to be like these mini tablets that fit in the palm of our hands have also had a massive impact in the way the aspect ratio of videos has evolved as well. And particularly for short form videos, there are many of us who have been creating content for a while, particularly on YouTube, and we have gotten very accustomed to filming horizontal or landscape or 16 by nine or 1920 by 1080 video. And we have it almost burnt into our brains that that aspect ratio is the correct way to create and view content. So getting over my own prejudices of what makes a good video has taken a little bit of time and I've had to shift my mindset to a portrait way of thinking. And this is even more important for me personally as a corporate filmmaker. I've had clients request videos where they only wanted vertical short video edits. So as creatives, we need to evolve too. We need to mix it up. And the M50 is certainly a useful tool that allows us a quick and easy way to create vertical content with easy to use files. Now that's not to say that there's anything wrong with landscape videos. I recently ran a poll on my YouTube community section and 81% of people said that they watched content horizontally. So certainly that is the case with YouTube, but as we're seeing with these other platforms where shorter content is produced like Instagram and TikTok, portrait video is king. I don't know what this is. So if you are looking for a camera for mainly vertical video content in 2022, the Canon M50 might be a good choice for you. And at present, the Canon M50 Mark II is selling for $750 thereabouts in the US, around 600 pounds in the United Kingdom. And I've left some Amazon affiliate links for it down 
below. You won't pay up anymore, but I will get a little finder's fee for taking you there. So what are your thoughts on vertical video, particularly if you've been making content for a while horizontally? Have you embraced it? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, if you found today's video useful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the little bell for notifications. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All that I've got left to say is stay creative, stay safe, imagine, implement, and inspire. And I will catch you next time on Kai Creative.